Happy New Year's Eve Eve. It's hard to believe that we're on New Year's Eve Eve. Oops. Sorry, I, I didn't see that guy and I turned. Oh well. So everybody, it's snowing today. Just a little bit. We have some fresh, pretty snow on the ground, but not on the roads, which is good. It's just like on our lawns and stuff. So I'm on the way to the post office to hopefully um, get my package. My BFF across the pond, Nikki, she sent me a package like three weeks ago and I never got it. And so I'm wondering if it's because we had a substitute mail person or what the dealio was. But so I don't have a little note to take to them. have my license. Anyway, I hope I get it. I hope they have it. I hope, I hope somebody didn't steal it. So that's that. Oh man, I was gonna go to Ulta and return uh, some foundation that I bought. I bought some of that Smashbox foundation, if you recall, and it's terrible. I mean, it's got good coverage. It's full coverage. It's like full on clown coverage yo and it's nothing like the little sample that I got in my ipsy box and they don't make whatever the sample is I have checked Smashbox's website everywhere they don't make it it's something different and oh my gosh I have to take it back I I wore it for like five days trying to deal with it you just need the tiniest microscopic amount and it will do your whole face and then some. But it really creases in my laugh lines and even around my nose right in here. So I'm taking it back because I can't deal with the creasing. I, I just, no matter how little I put on, how much I blend, how, how often I brush out my crack. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can brush out my crack. I've got to take that back. I'm just going to stick with my cover girl. It was really good. I like it. So anyway, I, was, I need to take that back to Ulta and I forgot to bring it. Oh, well. Um, anywho. I hope y'all had a great Christmas. I did. And Daryl stayed home. He had Christmas off and then he had um, Thursday and Friday off. So I had him for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a long time to be with your loved one. <laughs> but I loved it. So, And we didn't do anything but watch TV. And that's that. Okay, I'm almost to the, I want to say airport, but I'm almost to the post office. So I'll check you later. Surprise, everybody. My package was at the post office. Oh my gosh. I am thrilled to death. So let's get started and I'll show you what sweet Nikki sent me. I have this darling card that she obviously had made or made herself. I don't know how she does this. Look at that, Tracy, Daryl, and Momo. That is the cutest, coolest thing ever. And she is wishing us a Merry Christmas. Wishing you all a wonderful Merry Christmas and a happy, peaceful New Year. All our love, Nikki, David, Jamie, Cameron, and Keelan. Thank you, Nikki. I love this card. And then she sent me this super cute elf hat. It's even got red hair. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. And check out these super cute socks. Oh my gosh. There's a kitty on the heels and the toes. Oh man, these are darling as all get out. And then she sent me some fun Christmas markers. I have silver, gold, red, and green. The Sharpies, they're the best. And she sent me some more of my favorite lights the snowflake fairy lights. Last year, 
or was it the year before? I can't remember. She sent me some star lights, some star fairy lights, and I actually have them on my sink right now, and they turn on and glow at night on my sink. And now I have these super cute ones. Oh my gosh. And then she sent, and these are from the White Company. I don't, I've, you know, it's a London thing. I hear though that it's really nice. One of you told me a long time ago that it's a really nice place. And she also sent me from the White Company this darling um, makeup brush kit. I love this. And it's got these super nice brushes. I've got an eyeshadow brush and a little blush brush and then like a powder brush and then this little eyeliner brush. These are so nice. Thank you so much, Nikki. I absolutely love all these. You are so sweet. And I sent her a gift and she got it. Well, it's just a little gift. It was just little enough to fit in a card because sending anything to another country from the U.S. is the biggest. It's like they interrogate you and I have all these problems and so I always just send her a little a little envelope in the mail with a little something something in it. But she always sends me such wonderful sweet things and this wrapping paper. This is like tissue paper but thicker so you can't really see through it. This is so cool. I love it. Thank you so much, Nikki. I'm sorry it took so long to get here. Sorry our post office was lame this year, but I'm so happy I got it. I just love you. She is out like a light. Oh, she just woke up. Did I wake you? She's like, <laughs> oh. 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 So you're probably wondering, why do you have a fabric softener on your bed all the time? Well, I usually have two on my bed. I don't know where the other one went. Because I have so much static electricity that every time I get off my bed and turn on my light, I shock myself so bad. It goes right at my arm, hits my nose, and sometimes hits my hair. It's crazy. And so I just leave those on the bed. So if hopefully I can remember and I'll just take it and rub myself down with it. <laughs> I don't know. It seems to work a little bit and sometimes I'll just take the the fabric softener, put it in my hand and turn the light on with it and it helps. It doesn't I don't get shocked. It's crazy. Hi Momo. It's crazy. Oh boy, don't you bite me. No, no. So it's after five. It's ten after five and I haven't done anything. I just well, I've done a little laundry, and that's about it. I don't know what to do. Momo, I don't even know what to have for dinner. Are we going to cook, or are we going to go out? I didn't thaw anything. Anyway. I don't know if I like my new purse. It's so buckety. And everything gets lost down in there and the top is so floppy that when I try to get into it you know the top edges just fold in and stuff I don't know I think it's so cute I'm gonna try and just deal with it but it's annoying already it's annoying already and everything is lost in there I don't have a pocket for my cell phone everything just dumps in there seriously oh well it is what it is and then this ring that I got from Julia Jewelers 
I ordered it too big, unfortunately, and so I had to put some tape on it today. And it's too late to send it back because I already cut off the tag. It fits just right, but then when it gets past my knuckle, then, you know, it, it's, it's a little loose. So, um, I looked up some ring fitters on Amazon, and I'm going to order some. So these ones are super cool because um, they're coils and you just wrap them around your ring band and they're fairly slim and this one's the little skinny one. They've got bigger, wider ones for wider bands and these are only like $4.99 and I believe I get free shipping on these but um, I like how they're super skinny and they're not like very noticeable and they are they look like they're fairly easy to take on and off so I will probably get these ones but this ring guard is nice because it clips around your band you put it on on the inside of your band and then it clips around on the outside and you get eight pieces and but these are like almost ten dollars they're nine dollars and change so as nice as these are I'm just gonna get the other ones first they're cheaper and I'm cheap so we'll see how those work out okay everybody we are approaching the Del Taco yes we are we haven't been to Del Taco in like at least like two or three weeks. I don't even know. Look at it all lit up in its glory. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get two Del Tacos. We have a coupon to buy one, get one free. And then I'm gonna get two regular tacos and a jacked up bean and rasp burrito. Yep, sitting in the drive-thru. Just pondering. I if I sit here too long, I'm gonna change my order. Oh, Del Taco. I wish I could just have everything on the menu. I want this and 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 a side of this. Oh, I love Del Taco. I love tacos. You'd think I would get nachos tonight, but that's not the case. I'm just craving two regular plain old tacos. If I ordered nachos, then I'd want a burrito too, and then I would be like miserable. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna get the two tacos and my burrito. The jacked up bean and rice is only a dollar, and so are my little tacos. They're just little, they're just little dollars. Look at that. Look at all that yumminess. And they have really good hamburgers too, if you didn't want to. Um, a taco, you could have a, a hangover. They're really, and their french fries are super good. I asked Daryl if he wanted some fries and he said no, so I'm not gonna go get any fries. But they are really good. Mama! No, 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 no. Momo's freaking out because she can't. I put the sack up here. Go eat your stinky food. Oh, she's going to the bathroom. She's gonna go poop. Great. Yeah, great. Now that we're eating. We haven't been to Del Taco in weeks. I'm like getting ready to go in there and cover up or scoop out. Okay, here she is. She just had to pee. Oh. 
She's a drooler. She has spit and drool all over the place. <laughs> Special, special girl that'll drool. Special, special girl. That's my new purse, Momo. You like, you like? Yeah. Can I shut the door so we can have some peace and quiet? And some privacy? She's gonna want out of here. So, um, I decided I needed to fix this here purse because it was just too floppy and I needed some organization in it. And why this weighs 30 pounds, I don't know. Okay, so I have my purse here. And I decided to leave this out. It's just, I don't need it. I don't really truly need everything that's in here. I don't need the salt and pepper. I don't really need that lipstick. Um, I don't need two purse hooks. And I don't need this mirror. So, anywho, I don't need the tape or the salt and pepper. So for now, that's just going to go out. So on the inside here, um, see it's just floppy. And when I try to get in, everything gets lost. and eh. So, let me take it out and show you what I've done. So here I'm taking it all out. I've got my planner, my handy wipes, my two little containers that aren't heavy at all, these two things, that just have gift cards and essentials, and a candy bar. So I have all of those, just these right here. So then, um, I was looking online about purse organizers and I just want a tall narrow one everything is like so wide and flat or short or maybe too wide this way too wide that way too short this way I don't know I just need a small one that fits this little bag but then do I really want to go through all the trouble just for a Walmart bag that I'll probably stop using in a month because I, I won't be able to handle it anymore. So, I found this in my stash. This is, it is a La Sport 
makeup bag or whatever bag you want and I thought oh I like it because it's tall see it's tall and it opens quite nicely it's got the little edge here so I thought okay I'll stick this in there and that can hold my wallet so what do I do with all this garbage down there at the bottom well first I'm gonna take out hate prescription bottles, but I have to have them. You have to have your medicine in your prescription bottles. Okay, this is going in the trash because there's only two pieces of gum, which I will put in a pocket. Okay, this, I took the change out of this to make it less heavy. And I need Kleenex. I need a spork. I need my uh, straws. This doesn't weigh anything, so I guess I need it. I could put these in a different container. Like, maybe I could use my little salt and pepper container with some mints just to kill two birds with one stone there we go done done okay so the only thing down here is Spork, straw, my mommy's bear, some candy, and now my salt and pepper. Okay, so that's fine. Now that can hang out at the bottom. Um, now, I want to organize. Like, I want to put this in. It's just the right length and width. It'd be nice if it was a little bit higher, but that's okay. So I could put my wallet in there and maybe my planner in there. And then the rest of these things can go onto the side of it. And then in this here thing is where I have did I already show you this? My keys, my lip balm, like, you know, like my scissors, my mailbox key, lip balm, stuff like that. So, and I like how this is nice and tall, so it kind of helps the bag stay up straight. So, that seems to work quite nicely. You see that? So we have left um, my prescriptions. One, I want one on each side or both. I'll just do both. So like that. Okay, and my little readers, they happen to be going in this little flower bag as well for the meantime, but if they get in the way of my wallet, then I will just stick them on the side. Which, that's what I'm gonna do. Stick in, I just stuck it on the side of the bag in between everything, like that. <laughs> Another impromptu, what's in my purse? Okay, so, that's fine. And I have a little pocket inside this bag as well. Okay. And if I have to, I can keep my wallet upright like this. Okay. This 
is heavy, my candy bar, but I want it in there just in case. You never know when you're going to have a hunger attack. Okay. I'm going to leave this out. Well, no, it's still kind of soft, so I'll stick that in. And my change keeper. So, yeah. There it is. Here's my purse. And then I can also put my phone inside this here bag because there's a pocket for my phone if I wanted to put that in there or whatever. So that's much better. Much better. It doesn't seem like much, but this was weighing it down, especially that mirror. So and I do have my extra purse holder in here just in case a friend would need it. But I've never had a friend that needed one. So. And this kind of got weight to it. So I'll just leave that out. Leaving it out. Alright. That would be great. So here's my phone case. We'll pretend there's a phone. And it can just go right there on the side pocket or it can go sideways in that pocket or it can just even go on the side of one of these bags just in, if I'm in a pinch I can just shove it down to the side okay so that's good alright I'm digging it I'm digging it I'm digging it Thank you. Let's move along. <laughs> Was that not the most boring part of closet time? That was a 10 minute closet time full of just doing my purse. Okay, I took a shower and I want you to see how beautiful I look. This is how beautiful I look every time I get out of the shower. Don't be jelly. I can't help it. Okay. You know, I'm just being facetious, right? You know, I'm just kidding, right? Because there ain't nothing special or beautiful or pretty about this mess. Not one thing. Not one. Not one thing. You don't even know. It's just not one thing like this. There ain't nothing like this in the whole wide world. Nobody wake up looking this bad. Anyway. So tonight I thought I would pop open these little dippers. I got these at the Dollar Tree for Daryl for Christmas and he hasn't had any and I've had them all. There's one more after this. And it has five little breadsticks and they kind of have a sweetness to them and uh, their flavor's great and then they've got the fake Velveeta cheese. I'm sure it's not real Velveeta but it's processed cheese and it's all I need. <sighs> okay, let's try one shall we? We just have a moment. It's delicious. It'd be better if it had a drink in here. Not like a drink, but you know, like some punch or something like that. Um, I was getting thank you cards ready to send out today. And I was going to send in one out to... Miss um, Karen from Houston, Texas, because she sent me a sweet $10 Dollar Tree gift card. And I was going to send her a proper thank you note. 
and she didn't put her address on the card. No address. No return address. Just my address. So, Karen, I just, thanks again for my awesome little Dollar Tree card. I love it. And consider this your formal thank you. And I mean it, and I love it, and I appreciate it. And when I go to the Dollar Tree, I'm going to find something really good to buy with it. So, thank you so much. All right. And that's about all I have tonight. Except eating my crackers. So... Two more days. No, three more days. And we'll find out what might happen to my channel. Actually, it might take longer than January 1st. I mean, it's going to take months and months for YouTube to strike channels and figure out um, who's directed toward children and who's not and whose channel needs to be buried and who needs to be demonetized and so if my channel were to be one to go it would probably take a little while before they got to my videos and started check marking them and possibly deleting them but Just depends on what their robots are looking for. Like if they're looking for weird ladies that sit in her closet at Halloween all dressed up with a funny voice. I don't know if that is reason. I don't know if that constitutes made for children. <laughs> anyway. Daryl said, don't worry about it. Nothing's going to happen to your channel. And he seems to be always right. So I will listen to him. And if anything does happen to my channel, I'll try to let you know. <laughs> like if you don't hear from me for like three weeks, you'll know why. Because either don't have a channel anymore or they buried me and then I'll have to rely on my friends like Kay Carter and Lori Davis and Tyler Ramey to put out the good word to just come check out my channel So I probably won't be doing, regardless, I probably won't be doing any more Halloween closet time. Which I know, it's sad. I'm done. Don't judge. Delicious. Five little breadsticks is not enough, though. Not enough. Okay. So tomorrow, people, I have to go to the store to buy New Year's food. Daryl works till 12. Maybe we'll go to a movie or something, but I need to go first to Ulta and return my stuff. Hopefully there's not a big line. Mm, I need to go to Target and return a pair of pants, but there might be a big fat line at the Target for that, so 
I might wait on that. I might wait like another couple weeks when it dies down. And I need to go to the store. Um, need to get celery for my potato salad. I need to get a cheese ball. I get a free cheese ball with my grocery points. Um, what else? I've got the little wieners in the fridge. I have the barbecue sauce for that. Um, I have onions for the potato salad. I've got a can of rolls so we can just have Pillsbury rolls. And Yeah. Oh, I'll probably go buy some macaroni salad. The deli has really good macaroni salad, so I'll get some of that. And I'm sure I'll have to get some ice cream. Ice cream for him. Ice cream at him. <laughs> no more ice cream. You need to pace yourself. What you gonna do? Alright, so you know what? I have a giveaway of pile of clothes over here. Yes, I was able to find some more clothes to give away. And I was gonna give away, even though I love this sweatshirt, like how it feels, I was gonna give this away. I know it's great. It's a great sweatshirt. And don't I know I'm so this is kind of mean and insensitive and I'm not trying to be that way but I saw Honey Boo Boo wearing this on TV not long ago and it totally ruined it for me. I know that is so mean of me. <laughs> but it ruined it for me. It just didn't look as cute anymore and it ruined it for me. So I was going to give it away, and I thought, well, I can just wear it around the house. No big deal. So I think I'm going to keep it and just either wear it around the house, or I can, in fact, wear it for pajamas. Because it is a super comfortable sweatshirt. So, yes, I'm going to keep it. Honey boo boo or no honey boo boo, I am keeping my sweatshirt. Alright everybody, I guess that's about it. Uh, yeah. So join me tomorrow as we go on our travels. Okay. I just love you all. I do. I love you all. I really do. And you know, you guys are all so nice to me. I, I just want to shout you all out. You're so, so nice to me. You always say nice things. Leave nice comments. You're polite. You're courteous. <sighs> You guys are just amazing, and I just love you all, and I thank you all, and you're the best. You are. You all know who you are, and you are, and I just wanted to get that out there. So, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful sleepy, and... Good night, everybody. How, how often I brush out my crack? <laughs>